Hello, it's Cat again. So, I was interrupted by a phone call when I was trying to make my video. Anyways, so I was talking about how I had just fin finished uh, scarifying the ground again over in this section. And I could actually, you can see that it pulled up quite a bit. And I was raking it up using my metal rake. And one thing I found is this green netting under the ground. I'm not really sure what it's for. I assume it's some kind of, like, um, maybe it came with the uh, sod when the sod was installed when we first moved in here, like 15 years ago or whatever. But I noticed that the ground, right, is extremely hard. I mean, I can't get nothing in here. Ugh. You know, <sighs> breaking off at the top of the dirt here. Uh, it's just ugh, hard as rock. But I noticed that some of the stuff that once it's uh, here, you know, and when I pulled it up, man, it's just like loosening dirt immensely. I mean, look at this. It's like, yeah, my ground's really dry too. But yeah, um, so some of it doesn't want to come up, of course. But I don't want it poking through. <laughs> And if I leave this as hard as it is, you know, uh, you know, it's just, it's so hard. I can't even hardly get my fingernail in there. You can see I'm like poking it with my fingernail and that's, and my nails are not exactly short or, and it's like, not even get hardly doing anything on well, some of it. Now some of it seems to do pretty good. But this section in the back here, not so much. However, I pulled a, some out of like this area here. And you can see that it's, you know, my fingers don't get very far down. But it's a lot better than it was. Yeah, I'm still trying to get these things out of here, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I pulled, a, I pulled some over here earlier. I tried to get some back here. Found some uh, uh, roots. That probably came from the rose bush that's right there. And then our tree, uh, the tree grew. <laughs> but yeah, it's this netting here. And as you see, some of it is not that hard to pull up. And when I do, it comes, you know, big sections. Uh, I'm going to have to cut this one. This is the crud I'm trying to get rid of. It just uh, grows underneath, right along the ground, and then it'll go underneath the soil and get stuck there. And it just does not like to come out at all. But, so that was a quick update. You know, I found these at roots I have to cut out. Your break. <laughs> and this netting, which I do not mind losing that. It seems to, you know.
just help loosen the soil if I could pull it. I wish it all, would all come at once. Man, my soil would be really good then. <laughs> all that soil would be loose. It's probably some kind of like weed blocker or something for what when they put the soil down before or the stuff down before. See, look at that. It's that stupid plant. Ugh. Ugh. And it does not want to come out. And it's all right here. Because, see, it just like buries itself in the dirt. I'm worried that when I plant, see, look at that. It has a set of roots that it grew down. Straight through. And another set of roots. probably over here Ugh. and it just killed the grass now I do have I think it's probably weeds but I can't guarantee that it's weeds and that stuff is everywhere and I mean everywhere more of this green netting that one doesn't want to come up go. Not so long as it's not poking up above the, what I plant. And considering I have no tools other than my uh, scar pusher to, and it's at, at, already at its lowest point when I do this, I don't know how I'm going to get this done. The only other option I can think of is soaking the ground and then using my scarpacer on top of that and then but I gotta clean up this stuff first now I know if I do that a lot of this other stuff will come up and I probably have to sift out you know whatever comes up with that and I think that's probably what I'm gonna have to do I do have one of those machines that sprays the water back and forth like this. I think I'm going to have to set that up here and just soak it. And then we scarf scarify it tomorrow. But i got to get up as much of this stuff right now as I can. Because the uh, green waste um, city people come tomorrow morning so I gotta get this up now get it in the bin get the bin out front that way in the morning when they come they can empty it now all those bags that I had and that was full and I had like three other trash bags or trash bins full those we had to load up into my my man's truck and take to the city dump to the green waste there luckily it's just like 10 minute drive from us but anyways I've been trying to loosen the ground and get everything done with this one but even this one is like all right let me show you up here where it's hard as a rock see is it like not really wanting to go anywhere that's the best it's getting you know <laughs> as you can see that's not great so I'm just gonna get what I can up and then I'm gonna have to soak the ground so wish me luck I'll be back. Gotta put the phone down somewhere. <laughs> Unfortunately, no stand to set it up. Or you could watch me doing this. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys later. See you later, alligator.